Um, I'd like to show you some of the tools we've been building this year that support uh, decentralized MRV. So is this blocking here maybe? Let me close that, okay. At Astral, we've been building open source tools uh, for Web3 applications that are using spatial and location data. And examples include natural capital currencies, local currencies, parametric insurance, sustainability linked bonds and carbon accounting systems. So we have three main focuses. Um, the first is the verifiable spatial data registries. And those are smart contract based registries of vector and spatial data assets. And secondly, we also do verifiable location claims, uh, which is an attestation that someone was at a particular place at a particular time. And uh, finally, uh, Web3 native geospatial data storage systems uh, for storing remotely sensed data. So how do each of these uh, tools apply to uh, DMRV? For the measurement aspect, uh, the registry support MRV data collection and the location claims. Um, prove your position when the data uh, was collected. And finally, the geospatial data storage systems support large files that can't be stored on chain. And for reporting, the registries uh, normalize the data for standardizing uh, and data reporting across MRV providers. And so it also supports uh, data transparency through geospatial queries and um, time series analysis. And for verification, we use the registries, we use hashing and anchoring to the blink of the blockchain. And so on the right, you'll see kind of a GeoJSON representation of some uh, data uh, from an MRV provider, which then gets hashed and placed onto the blockchain, uh, very similar to um, what uh, Regen Network um, was talking about. And, you know, for their uh, data module. And uh, what this allows is kind of uh, immutable and audible um, understanding of whether the data has been uh, edited or um, changed uh, somehow. So, uh, so, and then uh, there's also the verifiable location claims. And this is where we're using uh, look, ZK um, proofs uh, to, to verify the location, but not necessarily, um, you know, if not necessarily showing the exact location of a particular um, person and where they were. So we, uh, so we built these um, projects um, with four different groups um, over the past, you know, during 2022, uh, starting with Colectivo Curacao Community Economy. And uh, they're basically um, doing a on-chain spatial data registry. We're building that for them. And we're also doing some decentralized data storage of uh, weather station data on OrbitDB. And for DClimate, we built a, a POC spatial data registry to query by area. And, uh, and then what Raviv uh, presented on the MRV Collective earlier, we're building a spatial data registry, also, you know, kind of like extending what we did for DClimate. Um, and that's going to be for a collective of MRV providers. And finally, we're also um, supporting ZK maps and their zero knowledge location proofs. So for Colectivo, this is just an example of kind of how we're building the spatial data registry on chain. We're using what's called a quad tree. And you can see on uh, the left that, uh, you know, I have some solidity code here uh, where you're showing, you know, the node each has a parent index and then has a four children. And so that's kind of um, how this is getting built. And then we're, and we're tracking these boundaries with lat longs. So you can see this is a particular node this is the parent node, and then these are the four children node. And so this is a, a way of, of being able to track uh, specific data points like each of these dots within a quad tree um, a structure. For the MRV collective, I mentioned that we initially built this for DClimate, but now we're, uh, you know, we're, we're extending this project. And so the MRV provider has uh, different um, MRV assets. It could be geospatial or scalar, and uh, they post the data to our ingestion API. And at that point, we generate a hash of the data, which then gets stored in this case to Celo network, but we're, we could be blockchain agnostic. So we, we, could, and we could kind of hash this and, and place it on any contract. Um, you know, for DClimate, we had built it for Juno and um, using Cosmosm. And uh, this hash also gets stored within the uh, MongoDB registry 
uh, ledger here. And any larger files go to maybe a, a cloud S3 bucket. And then we also have this REST uh, query API uh, where people can validate this data and query it uh, using maybe some different, a single view um, functionality that MongoDB uh, provides. So I just wanted to thank everybody. Here's my, here's our um, website and my email address if you want to get in touch with me. And I just wanted to mention all the, the groups that have given us uh, support and inspiration. So uh, Gitcoin, Refi, Regen, Collectivo, Zeek Maps, uh, Curve Labs, Declimate, and Cello, and the Climate Collective and MRV Collective. Thank you.